Hello everyone and welcome back to the Agent Voice Response community channel. In this video I will show you how to run AVR with OpenAI real-time SDS, the speech-to-speech -speech integration that allows your AI agent to listen and reply instantly with almost zero latency. Let's get started. First we need to clone the AVR infrastructure repository. So copy the URL, open your terminal and run git clone AVR info repository. Now move inside. Okay. As you can see, this project includes all the Docker Compose configurations you need to run AVR with different providers, including the OpenAI real time SDS setup we will use today. Before we start, let's quickly review what SDS is. SDS stands for speech to speech. It's the fastest and most natural way to have a real time conversation with AI. Your voice goes in, the AI processes it, and you instantly hear a generated response. Now, let me show you the Docker Compose OpenAI real time file. So, as you can see in the AVR STS OpenAI service, what we need is the OpenAI API key. Then you can choose the model, the instructions, instructions, sorry. And uh, so in order to do this, let's set up the access to OpenAI real time web page. Go to the platform openai.com, log in with your account and open the API keys section from your dashboard. Okay. Click on create new secret key. Give it a name, for example, AVR real time demo. Okay. Then copy. Move on uh, back in your terminal create touch a dot m file and put inside open ai api key equal and post the key okay this key will allow avr to connect securely to open ai real time api of course now we are ready to start everything up. Move on your hide for simplicity. In your terminal run docker compose minus f the name of the file and then open a real time up minus d. Okay. Docker will download the necessary images, of course, start all the containers and launch AVR core. After a few seconds, the system will be ready to handle real-time voice conversation. Let me check. Okay. As you can see, you will have AVR core, AVR SDS OpenAI service, and then also asterisk in order to manage the communication. Now let's connect a soft phone. Um, I am using a uh, telephone and I already set the SIP credential, the default SIP credential that you can find in the asterisk directory, pjsip.conf. As you can see, um, by default, you have a endpoint with username 1000 and password 1000. You can, of course, configure your own SIP users in this file and uh, adjust also the default extensions in the extension.com file. Okay. Let me show you how you can configure your um, endpoint, SIP, uh, SIP endpoint. So if you use telephone, if you have a macOS, I suggest you to use telephone as application and uh, you have to configure the domain with uh, localhost, username 1000 and password 1000. Then it's really important in the network tab 
to set the SIP transport TCP and disable the update EP address flag. So now you can enable this account. If you want, you can uh, do the echo test in order to be sure that the, you can hear your voice. You are about to enter an echo test. In this mode, everything you say will be repeated back to you just as soon as it is received. The purpose of this test is to give you an audible sense of the latency between you and the machine yeah, that is running is the uh, echo test application. Playback. You may end the test oh, there, by hanging up or by voice. pressing the pound key. Hello, Hello. can you hear me? One, two, One, two three. three, my name, my is, name Giuseppe. is Giuseppe. This is a demo. Thank you, Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Okay, it works. Uh, now I can dial the default number 5001 in order to call the AVR core on port 5001. Let me show you. Let me show you this one. Okay, it's really important to set the STS URL. In this case, it's a web socket. You can use the name of the container and then the port that you specify here. Okay. If you specify port 6030, it's really important to set the right port also here. And then, as I showed you before, we have also a VR asterisk and a VR AMI that uh, you can use if you want to develop, um, let me say, custom tools. Okay, I will show you in, in, in another video. Le I can call 5001. And here we go. Hello there. What can I help you with today? Hello. How you can help me? Hi. I can help with all sorts of things. Oh, thank you, you so much. Can you give me pro information about, uh, I don't know, a car? Sure. What kind of information are you looking for about a car? Oh, it's okay. It's just a demo. Thank you so much. Got it. No worries at all. If you ever need any help in the future, just let me know. Thank you, bye. Wow, you can hear that the voice responds instantly. This is the speech-to-speech -speech pipeline working in real time, powered by OpenAI real-time API and AVR's module architecture. And that's it. You have just seen AVR running with OpenAI real-time, SDS creating natural two-way conversations with ultra low latency. If you would like to learn more about how to configure other providers or tune the STS latency, leave a, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, of course, and join our Discord community for more tutorials and demo. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.